Hey, I'm at Petrenrung, which is my uh, home gym in Pattaya, and it's undergoing a little bit of construction and renovation right now. So they're going to be adding some space to the gym, which is really nice and really needed because it's starting to get busier. But they're also uh, adding a structure where there was a structure before, so it's like it looks different, but uh, it's going to be a different thing. The cool thing is this gym used to be a farm, and uh, this house used to not be here. Instead, what's been ripped down here was the family house. And so as everything is being like demolished and pulled apart, things are being revealed that I never saw before because there used to be uh, an older man living in an apartment that would have been right here. So this would have been his stairwell. And when I looked inside, there are these, this is from like a magazine. You can see the writing on the back there. And it's the bottom part of a fighter. And so these images of fighters have been cut out of magazine slash newspaper and glued to the wall of, this used to be, Penny said, um, part of their house, like their old house. And I asked him, who put those photos there and he said that him and his brother Pinoc, uh, his older brother Pinoc, who they were the two founding fighters of Petrangrung, they pasted these and he said that before there had been a Chamuk Pet one on the wall as well. Chamuk Pet was Pinoc's favorite fighter. This circular one up there, that's Panam Tuang Lek. That's actually Chamuk Pet's little brother. The one that's missing right there that you can just see the silhouette of because it's been like sunblasted, that was probably Chamuk Pet. And then you've got Mike Tyson there too. But I think it's super cool that like Pinu and Pinoc's childhood is being revealed as the gym is expanding with its success and needing more room and things like that. Um, and this morning I was showing that to Kara on the way out of the gym and Bam Rung, who's Kunu's father, uh, wanted to see what we were gawking at and he looked at it and he's been doing some of the demolition work himself with his own hands. He never would have seen it in a million years. It's very cool that he got to see that because I was in awe of it. It kind of reminds me of when I was living in Germany. Because German is not my native language, I would notice things about the language that a native speaker might not. So it's kind of like that. <coughs> Seeing things in the gym that might totally just be ripped down and not thought about again. This area right here used to be the gym before it became a garage and uh, this ring here was the first ring that was ever poured back in 1986, which is officially the founding of the gym. But uh, I'm a little bit, I don't like change, I'm a little bit nostalgic about things already, even though the gym is so different already than it was before I got here. Um, so change is good, development is good, progress is good, uh, but remembering is good too, so that's what that is. So.